Okay, so we're running our stock shim underneath this. We went and had the new bearing pressed on by a shop. And uh, you wanna loop that up real good with some gear oil. Next, your crush sleeve goes on, and that's a one-time use thing. So if you have to pull this and redo it again, you need a new crush sleeve. It can only be crushed once. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our pinion up through here, and then we're gonna come and put our flange back on. So in this case, I was using a new flange. You can put your old one back on, just make sure it's clean. And so you're gonna line it up so the teeth line up onto that uh, front of the pinion. And then we're gonna put our pinion nut on and we're gonna slowly drive it down. So as we're tightening this pinion nut, it's doing a few things. It's, it's gonna bring the, the flange onto it. And as you can see, we're kind of tapping to help uh, with the process here as we tap it and then keep tightening it. But also as you tighten that pinion nut, it's going to crush the crush sleeve and it can only crush up to a certain point. If you go too far, you can't just loosen it back up because from there it is, uh, it's been crushed. So um, anyway, make sure you have your lock tight on here too. Uh, the new pinion uh, nuts usually have that. And it's gonna start to get pretty tight. You can see I have to have a friend hold it with a breaker bar here. We put two bolts down in there to hold that flange in place. So he's holding it as I'm tightening it down. So. As you see here, there's a little bit of slop left in it. You just want to keep tightening it down until you're crushing that crush sleeve. And we're going to do this up until we have about 20 inch pounds of rotational drag or preload, which I'll show you here. Here we're using a dial inch pound torque wrench. This is different than the clicker or it's a little bit better than the, than the beam style ones as well. As you can see, we have, we're looking for our preload to be 16 to 25 to 29 is what they say. And we're setting this one, the needle looks like it's even off maybe a little bit until you start to put some pressure on it. But we're setting it at about 25 just to kind of know our, our ballpark number. And so you can see now as we're rotating it, okay, we have rotational it's drag on there. And we have it just right about where we want it. Okay, we, we have it right on our mark, but it's it's a little bit hard to turn. There's a little bit of pressure there, so a little bit of drag. So that's that's 